What's good YouTube, it's your boy d Musart, more than just a pen, gang gang. Today's video, we have got another portrait. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been to this channel before, you know how we do. We're all about the ballpoint pen. Every now and then, we like to mix media and that. We like to mix it up and try different things. But today, I decided to use a blue ballpoint pen. Now, this is something I've been getting quite a few messages on like, IG and stuff saying, Musa, why don't you ever just draw in blue? And I was like, hmm, interesting. I actually don't draw in blue pen that much. Like, I don't know why, but like, I've got a black pen available. <laughs> like, why am I going for the blue when I've got the black? You know what they say, once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> I'm a clown. Anyways, so today we're drawing a female face. And I wanted to give you guys five tips. Why am I using my left hand? Five tips. That will help you guys become better freehand artists. Um, I know a lot of people always ask me like, how do you draw a portrait without no like grid or anything like that? So today I'm gonna give you guys some tips that will help you guys out in the long run. Of course, this thing does take time. It's not something you're gonna wake up tomorrow and then voila, you know how to do all this stuff. No, it's a process, but I thought let me give you guys some tips that you guys can take on and try out and hopefully it will help you guys develop your freehand drawing skills for the future. So let's get into it. Tip number one is, of course, very, very easy one. Draw repeatedly every single day. If you can. I know some of you are like, I got, I'm busy, all the excuses come through, you know, the, 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 just typical excuses. Oh, I've got school, I've got work, and then acting like people are working like 16 hours a day, which they ain't. Um, but it is what it is. You've got time to watch Netflix and do all that stuff. Then again, then maybe you're not that committed to the art game, innit? That, that, that's what I can say. I'm trying to be nice here, but again, I don't like sugarcoating things. I like to be honest with people. You have time to sketch at least 30 minutes to an hour every single day. You have it. Like, if you're sitting there watching a whole TV series that's like 45 minutes, you have time to sit there and sketch. You can even sketch while you're watching TV. That's up to you. But as long as you're putting pencil, pen, whatever it is to paper on a day-to-day -day basis, you should see improvements very quickly. Like... Just the fact that you're drawing every single day you're gonna see improvements it's as simple as that so definitely be drawing constantly 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 every single day there was a time where i was like to myself i'm gonna be drawing two hours a day um i did that and especially like i told you guys about the sketching if you watch my previous video when i started sketching every single day i could see that one i was getting faster at sketching like i could see things very fastly um i don't even know it's that word fastly um two I, I got better at sketching i like i literally legit legit legitimately got better at ske sketching on a day-to-day -day basis because i was doing it so like often it was like every day sketch 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 you try to figure you start to figure out things and ways to do certain things and all that goodness um so yeah definitely tip number one draw on a day-to-day -day basis tip number two look and study references this is something that a lot of people don't do a lot of people don't look and study references a lot of people are just like mm, i like that let me just take that and like me before i actually start a drawing i spend at least 10 to 15 minutes i know i've said this before but again it's repetition you, you gotta say the same stuff all the time i say this stuff all the time in my tutorials as well on patreon i'm like this is what you gotta do guys this is what you gotta do it's like you're repeating yourself but repetition is what sticks in people's heads and obviously the rules don't change you know what i mean when it comes to drawing the, the rules don't change the rules are the rules so definitely be studying reference photo i spend up to 10 to 15 minutes li li literally just looking at my reference saying okay how am i gonna go about this start there am i gonna go across or am i gonna draw the eye then go down to the nose then go draw the second eye and then i'm gonna come down draw the ear and then you know like i analyze that like, how i'm gonna go about the drawing before i even start putting pen to paper um i look look at random photos on pinterest pinterest is a great place to look at like facial features and stuff like that instagram is here if you want to use that just go into the search type in female face male face different stuff and just look through and study and just analyze like okay that's a nice face okay the lighting's coming from the right side oh no no the lighting's coming from the left side which means that the right side is going to be darker things like that sit there and just look at photos understanding photos and of course applying it with the first one once you've done your studying and looking and everything you need to draw that's like drawing is the main way to improve but this stuff does help as well so that is it for tip number two look and study references tip number three challenge yourself it's very easy to get comfortable with something that you're good at 
Um, I, I know that when I was a kid, drawing portraits was like traumatizing. I was like, people? You want me to draw? People? I was like, I, you know, like, that's that's one of those when you know it straight away. Like, if I make a mistake, you got, if one of the eyes is off, you're going to know that Musa, you messed up. This drawing, it ain't it, brother. It ain't it. And sorry for the background noise. If you're hearing trains go past, I live right next to a train station, which isn't ideal. It isn't the best, but it is what it is. The brother's got to deal with it. It's life. Um, but yeah. You done? Can I, can I carry on speaking? Yeah. You, you don't know about okay um like i was saying challenge yourself what i mean by challenging yourself is start off slow you know of course nice simple portraits flat image all that stuff then you start adding like highlights and images with like a lot of hair and things like that but always look to improve and make the image a little bit more difficult look get a little bit uncomfortable you have to get comfortable with the uncomfortable and just keep challenging yourself taking it to the next level next level next level next level next level next level to the point where you feel like you're comfortable with drawing faces um again challenge yourself i mean like sometimes you could start with a straight face that's nice that's very like obviously basic eyes lining up with the ears mouth lining with the bottom of the ears things like that it's very straightforward but when you have a face just like this or when you have someone looking down like that you know what i mean like it, the face just the face changing changes a lot you know what i mean so definitely try and challenge yourself and doing different images styles of images faces all that stuff um that will help you guys a lot um again getting comfortable with being uncomfortable so that is it for tip number three Tip number four is something that I mention a lot and I know my, my, my subscribers, people that have been on this channel before will know that I say this a lot. Embrace making mistakes. Mistakes is part of learning. If you ask any scientists how they came up with paracetamol, so all this medicine that we take, they made mistakes. That was the only way they could figure out how, what, what works. You know what I mean? They try something, it didn't work. Try something else, it didn't work. But they kept on going kept on going kept on going learning the mistakes understand okay this is where we're going wrong let's not do that next time try something else oh okay we're getting close but let's not do this one next time but it's the same with art art you gotta keep trying 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 yes mistakes are gonna happen that's part of life life in general you make mistakes every day but it's all about learning making mistakes learning making mistakes learning you have to put those two together mistake learn mistake learn mistake learn once you guys are getting comfortable with that as well making mistakes and learning i know not if no one likes to make mistakes you know what i mean and a lot of with social media today this is my biggest issue with social media today you see a lot of professional artists like myself kirsty partridge chloe you know it's chc uh, who we got joy jazza all these amazing artists you see us and you guys think that we were just there like you know like we just woke up one morning and then boom we have this thing that we are good at no that's not how it is we all went through that whole trial and error mistaken learning mistaken learning back then youtube wasn't a thing you know what i mean the internet wasn't even a thing it, it, and it, we have myspace and that but yeah internet wasn't as big as it is instagram all that stuff was not even around when i was a kid you know i was just drawing for myself because i loved it and I made mistakes, I learned, I made mistakes, I learned, I made mistakes, I learned. And then, boom, here we are. So with social media, that's my biggest problem. A lot of people just see the end result and just see the now. But embrace making mistakes, guys. I Please, embrace it and it will help you a lot. Mistakes, learn, mistakes, learn. And you guys will be on your way. That is it for tip number four. And for my final tip today, it is... Watch tutorials. There's plenty of tutorials on the internet for free for you to watch different, different tutorials on how to draw faces, how to draw an ear, how to draw hair, how to draw all, all this stuff is available to you at the palm of your hand. The internet is here. If you want, you could get a mentor, someone that can teach you certain ways. Myself, Kirsty Partridge, who's amazing. She's doing an amazing job on Patreon. So definitely go check her out. I will link her channel in the description for you guys she's insane when it comes to tutorials she does a very good job um but yeah you can get yourself a mentor or someone to to teach you how to draw there's obviously courses on somewhere like skillshare um you can go on there i think something like the first two months on skillshare you can get for free some of these artists every now and then get sponsored by it 
buy, buy Skillshare and then they put in a link in the description and stuff. So if you're following some of these artists, make sure to be quick when they when they when they get that sponsor. Um, use something like Skillshare, it really does help. There's a ton of tutorials on there. And YouTube as well. This platform has a ton of free tutorial, free material for you guys to learn how to draw. So guys, make the most of it. You know what I mean? Make the most of it, sit there, learn, um, and yeah, just keep learning. That is tip number five. Use the internet, watch tutorials, get yourself a mentor if you can afford it. Um, and yeah, just keep keep learning, keep pushing, and good things will come. Trust me. So that is it for today. Those are my five tips. Hopefully you guys found them helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up. Wait, wait, wait. Smash the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.